Welcome to the Stoic TTX Facilitator Training Series. In this series, we'll be going over the skills and the tips that you need in order to be a successful facilitator for any tabletop exercise, be it the Stoic TTX framework or any others. We'll be going through some Stoic TTX specific things to go over how the framework works, but also the general skills and how to be a great facilitator. Why should you want to be a facilitator? This is a big question. Tabletop exercises are extremely important. Tabletop exercises are perhaps the best way for any organization to rapidly get better at incident response. The best way is having a lot of real incidents happen that everyone learns from, but that tends to introduce an awful lot of risk. A tabletop exercise strips away all that risk and simulates what an incident would look like and how the people would respond in such an event. In order to make the tabletop exercise work, it needs a facilitator. It needs someone to keep things moving, to ask the right questions, and to come up with the end results and the outputs that are going to be useful for the participants. Now, this training is designed so that the facilitator doesn't have to be a cybersecurity expert. In a lot of cases, the facilitator doesn't need to have a background in cybersecurity at all. And the reason for this is that we wanted to make this as approachable and inclusive as possible so that we can have more facilitators running more tabletop exercises more often in more organizations. Because as I said, tabletop exercises are probably the best way to get better at incident response. Why aren't there more facilitators? One of the reasons I found is that being a facilitator can seem a little daunting, like you need to have all the right answers and need to have full control of the situation, or you need to be a cybersecurity expert in order to guide the process, and you don't. It is not that daunting. It's actually really quite simple if you have some tips and tricks to help you through it, and you don't need to be that expert. What you need is a structure to help you help the participants through the process so that they can discover their own gaps. You don't need to be able to be the one to point out where the gaps are or to have that expert knowledge to know what needs to happen next. You need to be able to ask the right questions. And this training will help you do that. My name is Jordan Schroeder, and I will be your trainer in this series. I am the managing uh, CISO for Hephaestus, and I have had a couple decades worth of tabletop exercise experience in a variety of different formats. I have worked with public health in Canada, working on pandemic pl planning about 20 years ago. I was working with the city of Vancouver and doing tabletop exercises for earthquake preparedness for the city. And of course, as a cybersecurity expert, I have done quite a lot of cybersecurity tabletop exercises for a variety of different organizations, from banks and insurance and manufacturing and universities and colleges as well. The other thing I've experienced in is recreational tabletop exercises, also known as tabletop role-playing games, one of which you might know as Dungeons & Dragons. I am a longtime Dungeons & Dragons dungeon master. And the same skills that you need to be an effective dungeon master while you are trying to pit waves of fantasy creatures against the players are the same types of skills you need in order to be an effective cybersecurity tabletop exercise facilitator. And throughout this exercise, I'll be making a lot of parallels and a lot of connections between Stoic TTX, cybersecurity tabletop exercises, and role-playing games and video games in particular, because there is a lot of crossover and a lot of things you can borrow from the recreational side that can help with the professional side. And we'll go through some of those things. We developed the Stoic TTX approach in a very particular way. We wanted to make it participant-focused, not scenario-focused. We noticed that almost all of the other tabletop exercise frameworks were focused on the scenarios and crafting good scenarios, complete scenarios, and the facilitator basically read through the scenario and the participants responded to it. We found that this had mixed benefits and mixed quality because it was up to the scenario 
and there wasn't a lot to guide the participants through what they needed to do next and where the gaps were. So we created Stoic TTX to be participant focused, where the scenario almost doesn't matter. Yes, of course it matters, and we'll cover how it matters and in what ways it matters, but it's about the participants. The facilitator needs to be good at working with the participants, not working with the scenario. And that makes it easier for the, for the facilitator. It also makes it far more custom fit and purpose fit to that organization and to those participants at that particular exercise. And that makes it far easier to get really high quality results, really high quality outputs, and that everyone feels like they know what they need to do next in order to prepare for the next incident. This training series will cover three core facilitator skills. One is managing the exercise logistics. These are the nuts and bolts and the things you just need to get done. Then you manage the participant engagement, keeping that conversation going, keeping the ideas flowing. These are soft skills, and these are skills not specific to Stoic, and they're not specific to tabletop exercises. Any type of facilitator, group discussion facilitation type skill is the type of thing that you would need in this skill area, and we'll cover this very briefly. The next thing we will cover is managing the participant experience. And this is where the magic happens, and this is where the facilitator needs to have a little bit of skill and experience, and it just requires some practice. And I promise, after about five or six exercises that you facilitate, you will understand a lot more about it managing the participant experience and what you can do to make it really engaging, really interesting, and fun. Now, there's three words I'm going to repeat often through this exercise, and it is the core ideal behind Stoic TTX. Stoic TTX needs to be fast, flexible, and fun. And we will go over those details, and we will go over what that looks like and how you can bring a fast, flexible, and fun tabletop exercise experience to the organizations you work with.